All right, we're going to do a short video on numeric um, expressions. So this is simply a combination of numbers and operation signs. So if I look at this, any time that I have more than one operation sign, so in this case, I've got subtraction and multiplication. This problem, I have both um, addition and subtraction. We have to have an order in which we solve things or we'll come up with different answers. So, because if I look at these problems, Jesse got 48 for this answer, but Sandy got three. I can understand how they both got them. So in order for us to always come up with the exact same answer, we have to have an order in which we solve them. And hopefully you are familiar with the order of operations. Okay. Some of you might know it as PEMDAS. Okay. Um, so this is what it stands for. This is the order in which we would always solve um, any kind of numeric expression. So first thing, we would always do anything inside the parentheses. That means you have to do that first. Then you would simplify exponents, okay? So if it's something was like five to the third power, you would want to simplify what that meant first, okay? Number three, you would do any kind of multiplication and division, whichever comes first in the problem. If there was division first in the problem and then multiplication, make sure that you would do the division, okay? Whichever comes first, left to right. Then the last thing you do, the very last thing you would do was, would be any addition subtraction whichever comes first in the problem, okay? So this is just a numeric device to help you remember. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, all right? So let's go ahead and practice some, all right? So if I look at this one, I'm gonna write it kind of at the top of my paper, so please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, so we'll remember it, okay? So if I look at this, I'm gonna write it out first, then I'm gonna go through it, any parentheses, Yes, there's parentheses, so I have to do all of this first. If there is more than one sign inside of the parentheses, still have to follow order of operation. So I've got division and I've got addition, so I should do division first. So six divided by four would be four, plus the two that's already there. So this whole thing would equal six. So all of this would equal six. Then I'm going to write down the rest of this problem. Two times five minus six. All right, so I've got multiplication and subtraction. So next we're at multiplication. So this would be 10 minus six. So that would give me four. Okay, so I'm just building the problem. I just keep going down here. Okay, let's go to the next one. Any parentheses? Nope. Exponents? Yes. 2 to the third power. Remember, 2 to the third power means 2 times 2 times 2. So 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 6. So this equals 6. Then I'm going to rewrite the problem. Okay. This will help you out at the beginning when you're first starting to work through these problems. Okay. All right, so I did exponents. Any multiplication or division? Yep, here's my multiplication. So that equals 24. Then I'm going to rewrite the problem. Okay. All right, so now no division. I have addition, subtraction left. You do whichever comes first in the problem. In this case, this comes first. So that would be 40 minus 24. Okay, so that would give me um, 16. Okay, so that equals 16. Yep. All right, let's try another one. Let's see, do I have that one? Let's go one more. All right, so here's another one. Again, I'm going to write it at the top. All right, any parentheses? Yes, here's my parentheses, so I'm going to cross that off. 7 minus 5 would be 2. And I'm going to rewrite my problem. 6 times 2 divided by 3. All right, so I've already done my parentheses, no exponents. I've got multiplication division, whichever comes first in the problem. This comes first. I'm going to write the rest, divided by 3. That would be four. Okay. All right, next one. Any parentheses? Yes. You see my parentheses. I got to follow my parentheses first. So six plus four, that would be 10. Then do you see that exponent on the outside? So that would, be, that would go on the outside. So 10 to the second power. So that means 10 times 10 is 100 minus eight. That would give me 92. Okay. All right, next one. Any parentheses? Yes, 12 divided by four is three. Then I'm gonna bring my exponent there to the third power. 
So 3 to the third power, oh, that's 3 times 3 times 3. That's 9 times 3. So this would be 27. So all of that is 27. Then bring this down, plus 5. So that is 32. Okay, that's 32. All right, let's do two more examples, and we'll be finished. All right, so please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So please... All right, so any parentheses? Yes, I have to do the parentheses first. So that would be 12. Then I'm going to rewrite the problem. 4 times 9. I'm going to put my dot for times. All right, I've got a lot of operations here, so I'm going to keep going. Any exponents? No. Multiplication or division? Yes, multiplication comes first in the problem, so I'm going to do that. That's 36 minus... And then 12 divided by 3 would be 4. Okay, so that would equal 32. Okay. All right, last one. Any parentheses? No. Exponents, no. Multiplication or division? Yes, I have both of them. But what comes first in the problem? Division comes first. So I have to do that part first. So 15 divided by 5 is 3. Then I rewrite the rest of the problem times 3 plus 2, minus 10. All right, do my multiplication. So that's 9. Rewrite the problem. Once you have only multiplication left, you can just kind of start from the beginning. 9 plus 2, that's 11. Minus 10, that would just be 1. Okay? All right. All right, we've got some problems for you to work on. Let's see how you do with it. All right, have a great day.